YouTube and welcome to lesson 14th of the After Effects tutorial series. So today we're going to cover about quality and working with vector graphics which we make from Adobe Illustrator. So I have my Adobe Illustrator at the side. Adobe Illustrator is kind of like Photoshop uh, and then you can make vector graphics with this. So I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to post um, the uh, Crash Course series for Adobe Illustrator quite soon now. So now, just for the basics, I'm going to go over to File, Create a New, and just like in Photoshop, you'll get a dialog box. And am I taking a while? Okay, anyways. So now, just like in Photoshop, just select a Video and Film. So you can see that. You can name this if you want to. So let me say Symbol, okay, and press OK. And you get a similar workaround just like in Photoshop. You can see the borders over here, and this is where I can collect all of my it is. So for, for example, I can go to text just like in Photoshop, I got layers. So I can say this is my layer 1. Okay. But usually, uh, when I work around with um, Illustrator, I'm, I work with vector graphics. So uh, in Illustrator, we have a lot of preset graphics right over here under Windows Symbols. So we can use that in After Effects. So we got this um, frame over here. So let me see what else. Uh, we got over here inside the symbols. So let me go inside, open sim symbol library. So let me go over to, okay, so something like Susie, all right? So let me see what pops up over there. And in this, inside the Susie, uh, you, you can see that we got some cool graphics right here. So we got this Salmon Susie pick right here. Okay, so we can enlarge this if you want to. And the good thing about vector graphics, uh, vector graphics is no matter how much we enlarge it, the quality remains the same. So let's say, for example, I want to zoom this really in. You can see that it, there's no uh, jaggies over there. It is quite smooth. So now we can import this over After Effects and then give some effects to it. So now I'm going to go over to my Layers panel, create a new layer, and let's say let's add in another one over here. Just to show you how to work around with it. So this seems to be like an octopus to see. All right. So anyways, uh, I'm going to import this back. It does not matter how you arrange the layers because we're going to do that in After Effects anyways. So these are both vector layers. But do realize that uh, vector layers do take some processing um, speed. So it sometimes kind of gets slow. So anyways, I'm going to save this. Save this on my lesson 14. Um, Lesson 14, okay, over here, so let me save it as symbol AI, okay, so Adobe CS, uh, CC is the one I'm going to choose. If you are to choose older versions, um, if you're working with an older version of After Effects, you can choose the older version and save it, otherwise it might not be compatible. So anyways, let me just save it inside the Lesson 14 folder and then close this out. So that's it, that's it for my Illustrator. So now let me go back to After Effects and inside of After Effects, I'm going to double click and go over to my TutorTube folder and inside of TutorTube, I got a lesson 14 symbol. All right, so I got my layers right there. So now uh, I'm going to import this as uh, a composition. So retain layer sizes so that I get the layer size and not the composition size. And you can see that I got my symbols right here and both of them are uh, vector graphics but once I zoom in you can actually see that the jaggies effects are there so we're going to see how it actually looks now the video that you actually export from After Effects cannot be uh, vector so you'll have to work around with so the only benefit of using vector is that in video if you were to enlarge the size uh, then we won't lose the quality, but to the amount of which video quality I select at the end. Uh, but the Photoshop files which you bring in, it, uh, it does lose its quality if you resize them inside of uh, composition. So usually for graphics like these, we go for Illustrator and not for not Photoshop. So let me click on New Composition and then uh, select the regular uh, SD size as always. And let me uh, bring out this symbol inside. All right, I do not really need the comp one, so I'm going to delete, uh, comp, not the comp one, the symbol, so I'm going to delete that out, and I can resize this just like that. You can see the quality is not that great. 
Okay, and anyways, I'm going to bring out the other symbol uh, later on, so let me just work out with this symbol for now. And you can see that it is not that great. It is not that great because I'm in the draft mode. So, if I were to go over to the wireframe mode, it is easier to work with. Work with. You can actually just see the edges of the uh, graphics over there. If I were to go over to fast draft, it uses the um, it uses less processing power so that it's easier for me to animate. Adaptive re resolution is like it uh, resizes the things according to my screen over here. And final quality is the final processing uh, power right here. Final processing, final layout uh, out of all. So now, now, I'm, uh, now I'm in the third view of it. So if I were to, um, uh, where if I am in the third, so it actually just renders one third of the resolution, so it's faster to work with again. If you were to choose full, this is the full quality right over there. So this is the full rendered view, but it is going to be quite slow if you work around with it. So this is half, so you can see the quality keeps on degrading right there. So this is quarter, and I can also go to custom. So this is quarter is 32. I can even go to 64. 64 and you can see that it is much more um, it just takes a few samples so this is much more easier to work with uh, but you cannot really see much details so I'm going to choose custom again let me choose this 32 and you can see that we, I, we got some more details right here so let me go over to 4 and resize this so now if I were to resize this a lot Okay, let me just enlarge this, let me just enlarge, let me go to transform, and then scale this, just like that. It's on 2000% now. So you can see, now even if I'm in 4, and even if I am in the final quality, it still is not that great, actually, uh, even though this graphics is vector. So to enable the full quality, uh, if you were to go over here, uh, if it is not enabled already, do click, uh, click on the icons on the bottom left to enable this um, icons right here. So you can see this, this one is quality. So if I were to turn that off, you can see that now there's no anti aliasing This is the worst quality that you can render in. So if I were to turn this on, then there's anti aliasing You can see that everything is smooth. So anti aliasing off, off, and this is full quarter anti aliasing and off. So this is one for aliasing. This one is for vector graphics. So now, if you have a vector layer, if you click on this and wait for a while, you can actually see now the quality is preserved and it is full quality. But once I move it, you can see that it is quite slow. So it's always a good idea to turn this on only at the last moment. So uh, I can simply turn this off if you want, uh, if you are okay with the quality. But usually, you want the high quality. So now. I'm going to scale this down. So I'm holding shift to uh, click on scale so that I do not, I can uh, scale it quite fast. So you can see it's the same with this one as well. Now if I were to pre-comp this, uh, let me say I have this layer right here, okay? And I'm going to add in an animation just like that, okay? So I'm just going to rotate this out. So rotation, let's go over to this frame and rotation right here. So you can see that there's a bit of animation right there. So now, if I were to go uh, go and create a new composition again, press OK, and then drag in the composition 1, you can actually see that it is there. And if I were to resize this, go to S, scale this, you can actually see that it is not full quality again. So you can see some daggers right there. So I can enable the uh, vector graphics in this as well. So you can see that it is not full quality, so let me just go inside, enable vector quality, right over here, let me go back, and now you can see that now it is full quality. So I have to make sure that whenever I'm working with pre-coms, the one inside, that is the vector quality, that is a vector layer, the uh, vector sign is on inside of the com composition as well as outside of the composition. But you can see that once I do that, you can actually see that the shadows are actually not vector. So not all things that you bring out of Illustrator will be vector and not all graphics are vector. So you really got to take care of that um, before that. So now this is purely because of composition though, because like composition cannot render the shadows in vector. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to bring out the original symbol layers. Let me just drag out this one. And you can see that I can enable the vector layer. 
So let me enable this one, and you can see that the quality is still there. So let me just zoom this in, have a zooming in effect, just like that. So let me just um, make it in quarter quality and fast draft so that I can work with it faster, turn off the vector and uh, disable the uh, anti-aliasing. So you can see now the workflow is quite smooth um, compared to everything else. So I'm going to have a zoom in effect. So let's say uh, from this scale right here, scale it out and then come back to, I can simply type it in as well so you can see that actually that actually sets up the keyframe just like that. So I want it to come over here just like that and the other one uh, over here. So I'm going to add in a keyframe right over here. Press uh, scale, so scale over here. So that's it. And scale this to over 500 as well, 5000 as well. Uh, put this a bit to the other side maybe. Okay. So anyway, so I got uh, this and I seem to have lost my other sushi. So let me just drag it down to the other side. Okay. Now put it over here, scale this, uh, come over here, scale this out, and then that's what you get. Alright, so now I'm going I'm ready to turn on the quality of everything else. So turn on the quality, 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 and then over here, off uh full, then turn on the motion blur, enable the motion blur settings. Uh if you remember how it is right under so let me just go over to uh, count two, all right. Uh, let me just enable uh, motion blur effect. So let me see how that looks. You can see some motion blur effect right there. You can see that it takes some rendering time now because that actually takes a lot of time. Because it's in the full quality, it takes a lot of rendering time. As you can see, the rendering is there. And you can see the shadows on vector, so we have that problem over there. So now, Anyways, you can see that there is a lot of vector going on. So I can go over here, go to composition settings and make sure that I get only the, let me not go for 64, let's go for 32 frames, just like that. Okay, 32 frames is enough. And let me go for shutter phase is okay, shutter angle, just a little bit of it is fine and press okay. So this is the amount of motion blur I get uh, for my animation as you can see over here so I can render this out and this is going to take a while. So I'm just going to uh, render this in quarter mode so that it's easier for you guys to see it. So quarter or maybe lesser, lesser will do it. So let me uh, render it in 1 16th of a line so just press OK. Maybe that's a little too less so 8. Okay, so let me just render this out right in the window. You can see the animation is there and the quality is maintained. And the motion blur is there, everything is there. Okay, so maybe um, I did it quite fast, so I need to pause it uh, for a bit. So let me select that and then is in. Alright, so now I got this. Okay, let me render that out and then you got this little effect right there. Okay, so that's quite smooth as you can see. So I'm going to now select uh, auto. Uh, let me just select adaptive resolution so that it only renders this resolution out here. Let's see how that works. So you can see that it seems like as if it is a rendering in full quality, but it's only utilizing the quality that I chose in my window. So that's enough for the preview, um, and it is rendering uh, all of it. So you can try this out. Uh, After Effects is a very cool tool to work around with uh, vector layers, and this is quite useful for 2D animations. Uh, for traditional 2D animations and so forth because you want to zoom in the characters, zoom out the characters and so forth. So it's rendering out and you can see the motion blur, you can see that the quality is really good except for the jaggies right here. Uh, like I said that is 
uh, the that is not in vector, so it is creating a problem right there. Uh, but anyways, until and unless there's no problem like this, so usually what you can actually do is import the uh, symbol into After Effects and then only add shadows so that the shadows aren't just in uh, in a raster graphics. So anyways, this is how the animation is right now. And you can create this. So like always, uh, keep on watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and comment.